Ooh, girl. Okay. Hi, everyone. This might be a lengthy video. I have quite a lot that I feel like I want to say, so please bear with me. Most of you by now have noticed that I disappeared abruptly, went completely MIA online, and also removed most of my content, videos, ebooks, my online course, and a lot of my photos from social media. And to be honest with you, when I first went offline, I thought that what I really needed was just a break. And when I took that break, I realized what I actually needed was a clear ending. Now, before we get too far into this video, I first want you to know that this channel is not going to disappear. It's going to be drastically different. I will still be involved with it, but it's not going to be what it was at all. And I'll, I'll talk about that in a little bit, but what I first want to explain to you is why I have decided to retire as a YouTuber, a content creator, an influencer, and a personal brand. Not that I love any of that terminology, but you get what I'm saying. I first started making videos on this channel when I was 27 years old and this year I will be 34 years old. Not only have I obviously changed and grown as a person in that span of time, but this last year off social media brought me to the realization that I haven't been truly happy in my career for quite a while now. But when it comes to eating a healthy, whole food, plant-based diet, that is something that is still really, really important to me for many reasons on a personal level, and it probably will always be really important to me. So are all the other things I've talked about on this channel. Being a part of the LGBTQ plus community, living mindfully, practicing self-love and self-care, and standing up for things that I believe are important and inspiring other people to do the same. I've just come to the realization that I don't want my entire life to be centered around publicly sharing about those things anymore. Because for one, they are personal. And during this time offline, I figured out that I want to keep my personal life personal and to myself. So while all of the things that I've talked about here are things that are passions of mine, they were passions that were developed over time. They were not things that inherently lived within me. It's not like I was a little girl dreaming about being on YouTube or making recipes or really sharing about any of the things that I've shared about. That's not the thing that drove me in life. It was not a major goal that I ever had. However, I do still have an unfulfilled lifelong dream and passion that surpasses anything else I could ever want. And that is to dance professionally. It is the one constant that I always come back to. So even if I theoretically did have the drive and desire to continue having the kind of online presence that I've had over the last six years, it is just not humanly possible for me to do that while fully dedicating myself to pursuing this dream of dancing. I actually attempted to do both of those things early on, like run my business and dance at the same time, and I burnt myself out so quickly that I ended up having to quit dancing again so that I could focus on my business. Because when all of this is my full-time job, all of this, making content, ebooks, YouTube videos, Instagram stories, social media content. It literally takes up all of my time and energy, mentally, physically, and emotionally. And I know that might sound dramatic, and it took me a long time to really realize that that's what was happening, but that's the truth for me. I know that a lot of you are going to be disappointed that you can't view my old content or my old videos or buy one of my old ebooks. And I didn't take that away to be mean or cruel or to take away your enjoyment of it. I just, for myself, mentally needed to have a really defining separation between what I was doing and how it drastically differentiates from me moving on from that. And it's not because I didn't ever enjoy it. I did, and there were years where it was really, really fun and exciting and fulfilling. And my absolute favorite part of this entire journey and this entire experience will always be knowing that my presence and what I chose to share inspired you in some positive way. That is something that I will always cherish. And I hope that you take that inspiration that you found here at any point in time and you carry it with you for many years to come. That part of it means the world to me, but the hard years were very, very hard. And I did share some of that, so I know it's not a complete surprise, but 
I'd never shared the level of difficulty that I actually went through. And I've really learned from this entire experience that being any kind of public figure or online persona is just not easy. Essentially, I felt like I was unconsciously exploiting myself online. <laughs> Again, one of those things that took me a really long time to fully see because I was so in it. And for the sensitive being that I am, it was just really, really unhealthy for me mentally. So this decision is really the best thing that I have done for myself in a very long time. And in the midst of, of struggling with actually moving forward and making this, this decision, what I had to ask myself was what kind of example would I be setting if I was continuing to do something that wasn't good for me anymore and that wasn't allowing me to be fully happy and fulfilled. That's, that's not the example that I want to set. So I knew I had to make a change and I am finally ready to commit to that change and start a brand new journey. I really, really hope that you can understand that and respect that even if you're disappointed and even if you don't stick around for what this channel is going to become. I have, I have no expectations about that part of it. So if what I share in part two of this video is not of interest to you in any way, then I completely understand if this is where our paths go separate ways because what you signed up for was my content and my blogs and my what I eat in a day videos. And now that I'm retiring from that portion of my career, that chapter in my life, this channel will be much different and won't be focused at all around me sharing my personal life. So if you decide that you're not interested in staying subscribed here, I completely get it. And I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for the time that you did spend here. Ooh, okay. The last six years have been life-changing for me in many ways. And it means the world to me to know that you were interested enough to follow this channel and watch my videos for any amount of time that you did. I truly, truly wish you nothing but the best. I hope that you find the thing that lights up your soul and that you discover all of the joy and happiness in the world. Part two. Here we go. Within the last six months, I made a huge and life-changing decision and I am so excited to be able to share with you that Martin and I are starting our very own nonprofit professional dance company. It's a big deal. <laughs> I have dreamed about doing something like this for a very long time, but it just felt so incredibly overwhelming that I could never get myself to start the process. And I mean, don't get me wrong, this is a huge undertaking. And honestly, it has taken an immense amount of courage to actually make this decision and move forward with it because what I was doing before, it was the safe route. It was secure. I had a proven track record of success. I was good at it. I enjoyed it most of the time. And yeah, it was, it was successful. But I'm leaving all that behind to take a major leap into a complete unknown. It is a huge risk. I have no idea what the outcome will be, but I do know that I was born to do this. It's always been dance that fills my heart and soul in a way that nothing else ever has. So as I mentioned earlier, this channel is not going to disappear. It's just going to have a major transformation because I am donating this channel to the ballet company that we're starting. And while we're still really just in the beginning stages of this thing, and I don't know exactly when or how much content there will be here, I do know that eventually this is a place where our dance videos and company related content will be uploaded. And if you're still here watching and you want to stick around for this, thank you so much. I am more excited and feeling more deeply fulfilled by this than I have probably by anything else that I've ever done. And if you want to support that by staying subscribed here or following our Instagram channel or checking out our website, it would just mean so, so much to me and to Martin and to all of us who are going to 
become this dance company. So I'll make sure to, to link those things below if you wanna check them out. And we did actually already film our official introduction to the company video that will be uploaded here on this channel probably within a couple of days or a week after this video gets uploaded. But if you wanna see it right away, you can check it out on our website. It is already available there to watch. And there's one thing that I really wanna be transparent about ahead of time, just as a disclaimer, since we are a nonprofit organization, we will be heavily relying on philanthropy and donations to sustain us. However, that is certainly not the focus of this channel. I just didn't want it to come as a surprise when it does get mentioned because it will be inevitably mentioned. And I also wanna be super clear that I have zero expectations of any of you, any of my following, anyone that decides to stay here to donate in any way. Again, just wanted to make that very, very clear, but you will see a donate page on the website and donations will be mentioned every now and then. The only reason I'm keeping this channel is because I genuinely just want to share our love of ballet with the world in hopes that people are moved and their hearts are touched by the art of dance. I will be thrilled by the mere fact that you're here and you're watching us dance because that in and of itself is support and it is more than enough. I feel so relieved that I finally get to film this and share it. Like I said before, this is the best thing I could have possibly ever done for myself and for my mental health. I really am happier than I have been in a very long time and I hope that that inspires you to take the road less traveled, to opt for the courageous choice, and to always, always do what is best for you, no matter how hard or scary it may seem. Thank you so much for all of the years of support and whether you stay or you go, I hope you follow your dreams like your life depends on it, because it does. So I think this is goodbye for now and goodbye forever to Kate Flowers, the channel, Kate Flowers, the YouTuber, Kate Flowers, the ebook maker and recipe creator. I will always look back and think of the good things and the fun times and the moments that are most precious to me, which are always the ones where I got to hear from you and I got to hear that my story or my videos, mm, goodness, changed your life in some way. That's irreplaceable. Nothing can ever take that away. So I really hope to see you here for the rebirth of this channel uh, when it officially becomes Azara Ballet. So this is just a quick little update for those of you who have um, my products or my eBooks or my course. I just wanted to make sure that you still and always have access to them if you want access to them. So even though I removed most of my eBooks um, from my website, I did leave one up there. I wanted to kind of like pay homage to the last six years of my life. So Sauce Queen is still available, but the proceeds from that starting now, starting today, will be donated to the nonprofit. So if you've wanted to get that ebook, just know that it is going to support the ballet company. And the rest of the ebooks are not available anymore, but if you ever purchased one and you have just somehow lost access to it or lost the link or lost the download, please email me. I will happily send you a copy of it as long as you provide either your full name or your email address that you used um, when you purchase the ebook. And the same thing goes for my slow living course. It is not available anymore to purchase, but as promised, if you did buy it, you will have lifetime access to it. 
but I moved from one platform to another. So if you didn't get the email with that information, just email me, let me know the email that you used to sign up for the course and I will help you um, get logged in and get you all that information. And I think that's it. I hope that if you own something that was created um, through this channel and this brand over the years that you enjoy it for many, many years to come. And again, thank you so much for supporting my small business in any way. It really was life-changing for me despite the hardships and um, it'll always hold a very, very special place in my heart. So thank you. <sighs> Sometimes it calls you right.